We're going to show you how to embed a client status portal into a website hosted on Google Sites using the gadget feature. To do this, first we need to log into your site as an editor. You'll notice that the edit buttons show up in the top right corner allowing you to create and edit pages. What you want to do from here is click the create page button and let's create a new page just for the client status page. Let's just give it a name called status. and then click the button to create the page. Now we're in editing view. We can tell this because it has save and cancel in the top right corner and it looks like our cursor can type. What we need to do now is go to the insert in the top left, go all the way to the bottom and choose more gadgets. When the more gadgets window comes up you want to look for the add gadget by URL link. When you click this you can now add any gadget that you know the URL of. We provide you the URL to this in our help guide. These are noted in the red letters towards the bottom of the page. We'll simply copy this, we'll go back to the gadget, and we'll paste it into here. You can also notice that the gadget URL is pretty short if you wanted to type it. When we click Add, we'll be given a couple more options, such as choosing the color, one of 23 colors to choose from, Let's choose Sand Beach for our example. The other thing is you'll need to set the dimensions of how big this gadget will grow. We actually suggest that you put this at 100% and the height you can leave at 2000 pixels. The next thing to do is check the boxes the way that we show them here. You do want a scroll bar in case the gadget does grow outside of your dimensions but you don't necessarily need a border or a title on it however if you want to include those you can you could try practicing with and without them if you want simply click OK and you've now got the, the gadget embedded in your site when you click save you'll be able to see and use this gadget in real time let's go ahead and enter the sample client that we typically use for everyone else so we'll use client1 at email.com and we'll put in their birthday Now when we log in, you'll see that the status shows up for our client. And there we have it. We can now scroll down and see the rest of the status for this client. And there you have it. A similar process would be followed for the affiliate and admin portal. However, we do recommend that you put those on their own site as they take up a more wider span than the client portal which takes up more of a vertical span. This way you can also keep the affiliates and administrative portions outside of your normal day-to-day -day website. That's all for now.